So let's see how we can perform a dictionary attack on SSH service using Hydra. So we'll want to open a terminal screen in Kali. Now I want to test a network connection first between Kali and the target system, which is 192.168.10.11 for me at the moment. Now I want to learn whether the SSH service is running on the target. And to achieve this, I'm going to use the Nmap tool. I know you're already a step ahead of me. That's good. The first parameter is the IP address of the target machine. So let's scan the most uh, common 100 ports, which will cover the default SSH port, which is 22. Now the last parameter is to detect the versions of the services. If you don't use version detection, Nmap labels the ports according to the default services. For example, if SSH is running on, let's say, port 80, and you don't use the version detection option, Nmap labels the service as HTTP, which is not correct. So now we've got the results in 12 seconds. And as you'll see, the SSH service is running on port 22, Next up is try to establish an SSH connection to the target. Well, I'm feeling pretty lucky today, and I want to try for the root user first. So, type SSH root at the target IP and hit enter. It's asking for the password, so we can suppose that the target system is open to connect with a root user. We don't know the password as of yet, so I'll just press Control and C to cancel the login period. Okay, now is the time to use Hydra to perform a password cracking attack onto that target machine. So if you type Hydra and press Enter, the help page appears. Explanation, what Hydra is, and here are the options. Now. These are the supported devices, including the SSH service. So, let's go ahead and build the command together. Since we know the root user is enabled for the SSH service of the target machine, we can give a single user, root, as the username with lowercase l as the parameter. The uppercase p is to define the dictionary, which will be used in the attack. Well, we're going to need a dictionary, so let's search Kali to find one. I'll just use the find Linux command for this purpose. The first parameter is where it's going to start to search. Slash means that it will start searching from the root folder. Name means that we want to find the files according to their file names. Now, I want to find the files where the name starts with password. Star here represents that... The rest of the name might be, well, anything. So it's okay to hit enter. Well, now, there are a lot of files. I did not expect that, did you? Um, so let's scroll up a bit. Okay, here. I found a folder with the name Word Lists. So let's go to the folder and look at those Word Lists. LS to list the files. Well, look at that. There are a lot of word lists for different purposes. Here there's a word list, Unix passwords. That's not a big file, in fact, but I don't want to waste time while waiting to run a long dictionary, so this would be enough for us to start anyway. And, of course, I'll choose a simple password for the SSH service to succeed the attack. Um, but shh, don't tell anybody else. The WC... Linux command is used to count letters, words, and lines of a text file. The result means that Unix passwords file has 1,009 lines, 1,009 words, and 7,883 characters inside. Useful information. So let's continue to build the Hydra command. Hydra-l root dash uppercase p password file Unix passwords.txt. F to exit as soon as finding a valid credential. Dash capital V is to show the login and password pairs of each attempt. Now that's used to increase the verbosity level. 
target IP address, and finally the service to attack, SSH, and time to run the command. Okay, so I'll stop the attack by pressing the Control C keys, but please look at the first lines. Uh, there's a warning here which says many SSH configurations limit the number of parallel tasks. And it recommends us to reduce the tasks using the T4 parameter value pair. Okay, I recall the command by pressing the up arrow and add T5 at the end and run the command again. Now it warns me that it will overwrite the restore file of the previous session if we do not abort the command in 10 seconds. The countdown starts. Now the attack started. So as you see here, Hydra pauses the attack in every fifth try. Now we've got the results in seconds. We found the password of the root user of the SSH service running on the target system. Hydra says the password is password1. Never seen that before. Now I have an SSH connection on the target system. Ha ha! Well done.